Hi there, I'm Miriam. Welcome to Good Fruit Garden. Thanks for joining me back. So I want to give you guys another tour of my fall garden because so much has changed in the last two, almost two weeks since the last time I dropped a video. We've got some new additions and the other things that I seeded about a month ago are doing fantastic. So I want to give you a look and let's let you see how everything is coming along. So let's go ahead and start over here in my herb bed. Now I do have some onions in my herb bed because this was the only additional space that I had left to plant my onions. So there you have it. But the last time that I took the video, there was only about four or five of the onions that had actually sprouted. But now I've got dozens of onions that are starting to come in. They're about four inches tall. So I'm hoping they just continue to do well. Um, I also picked up this little new addition, this purple basil, which is really good. It has a bit of a softer taste, in my opinion, than the green basil, but it's still very good. And this mint plant right here is about twice the size it was when I planted it, so that's doing really good as well. And back here with my tomatoes, um, I am starting to get some flower sets on some of these other plants that hadn't yet flowered. This big guy is so huge and it's only putting off a few flowers. I'm going to give it a couple of more weeks and if it doesn't start to produce, I'm just going to take it out of the ground because it's taking up a lot of space without producing fruit. And this tomato plant is always my biggest producer and it's half the size of the other one. Um, I did already pick one tomato that uh, turned red and ripened for this season. This is the last one that I have left so far. And I'll go ahead and show you a quick picture of that one that I uh, picked. And my kale is doing great. I'm super excited. My kids are even more excited. They can't wait to start picking off of this. And I've got about 13 kale heads going, so that's fantastic. These stems on my carrots are really coming in nicely also. I'm going to move around to the back so you can get a better shot of the rest of my lettuce. So this is my salad bowl lettuce and I have six of these heads and they are really starting to come in and thicken up really nicely. I'm super excited. My romaine lettuce on the other hand is not doing so hot. You can see they're really thin and wispy right now. I'm hoping they'll fill out. But my spinach is doing great. I've got um, three rows of this and I think I have about 12 spinach plants coming in and they all look really good so I'm super excited about that and hoping that they will also continue to do well so and right in front of it you'll see my cucumber plant now the reason I planted it this way is because I wanted my cucumber plant to block the sun and shade my lettuce in the back uh, as much as it possibly could because in Arizona and our summer heat still continues into September and part of October so here's a side shot so you can really see how my cucumber plants are shading my lettuce in the back. Now my cucumber plants have completely recovered. They're going over the trellis at this point. I even have some female flowers that are growing within here and uh, let me get you a closer shot of one of them. So there's one. You see that flower with the little tiny cucumber looking thing on the back? That's actually the ovary of the female flower. So what happens is a pollinator will land on a male flower, then go into a female flower and pollinate it. And that tiny little piece here will end up growing into the cucumber. But since I don't have a ton of pollinating bugs, what I'm going to do is hand pollinate today. So I'm going to take this male flower. You can tell this is the male. It's not big at the bottom. And I'm going to pull off the petals. And then what's left here is just the pollen bulb. So I'm going to take this off and gently rub it within the female flower and hand pollinate this myself so that hopefully in about two weeks when I shoot another video I'll actually have a little tiny cucumber to show you guys. 
So on the left side of this bed, I have my row of squash to the left. And then down this center aisle are my peas and every single one that I seeded actually did sprout. So that's great news. Did put my bell pepper plant back in the ground because it started flowering again. I also had a surprise little zucchini seed that decided to pop itself up right there. And then right next to it is that bigger zucchini plant that has come in here. And I also have something that offered itself up which looks like it might be a bell pepper plant here. So my sweet potato here keeps trying to push itself up out of the earth. Um, it's not fully mature yet though. You can see the neck of it is still kind of skinny. And then I do have a little bit of a thicker bulb down at the bottom. But it's not as large as I would like it to be. So I'm just going to cover it back up with some dirt. And let it continue to grow. And hopefully it will... Uh, get bigger here in the next month or so before the ground gets too cold and I have to pull them up. So last but not least on this tour is my acorn squash plant. It's been in the ground about a month but it is starting to produce some visible little buds here that look like the beginnings of the flowers. So this is my very first acorn squash plant. I'm going to do some research and follow back up with you guys in two weeks and let you know how this is looking and turning out. So thanks so much for watching. If you guys have any questions for me, especially on Zone 9B Gardening, definitely drop a line in the comment section and I'll get back with you. Please like, subscribe, and share. And until I see you again, may your life and your garden produce good fruit.